Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Taco Rick channel. If you guys are new around here, behind me is my Cement Gray 2020 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road. It's lifted, we got bigger rims, I've modded a bunch of LEDs and lighting and the grill. There's a lot of mods, LED light bars and pods. This thing is dope. So in this video, we're gonna be walking through the whole entire truck. Let's get into it. go vlog style on this video real quick so we're gonna start with the front end of this truck which a lot of mods have been done and also on this whole entire tour right here I have videos of everything I've done on here from the custom headlights to the light bars to how you wire the switches everything is on my channel so go check out those videos if you're interested in anything you see on the truck let's start it off with the front end so I went ahead and turned on all the lighting on the front of this truck because there's a lot of it but before we get to that we got to acknowledge the Toyota Pro Grill so yes the Toyota Pro Grill is on the front of the truck and I have Raptor lights now the Raptor lights are not on these are smoked amber Raptor lights lights and they're not on because I unplugged them because uh, these I bought them off Amazon for like 20 bucks and these are a piece of crap so uh, if you go watch that video I don't recommend these ones at all I need to get some replacements for them but uh, it looks sick when they were working but right now literally only that one works these two don't work so uh, not gonna recommend that but the only problem with the pro grill was putting on this sensor down here and I show in my video how I made it work you got to use some washers and some spacers to get it done so pro grill there the next big thing on the front of the truck other than the bottom lights is these right here my headlights so these are the factory stock headlights and what I did was a retrofit so I took them I put them in the oven and completely separated them and added halos that you can see right here which also work with the turn signals and replace the circuit board for the daylight runner with an RG RGB board and these are from Dio Dynamics. So that RGB board right there, I can make it change colors. It could be red, green, blue, anything I want. And the turn signal works with the halo. And I'll show you guys that in a second. But while I was in there, I also spray painted all the chrome black. So that's why the headlight. So that's why the headlight is blacked out. And I also smoked the amber on the side as well. So right here is the app for those RGB boards, and I can change the color to whatever I want. So I can change it around. I can create different sequences. There's also patterns inside of it. So I can change the different patterns, change the speed on those patterns. And you can do all kinds of cool stuff with this. So right there is a red blue crossfade. So it changes from red to blue. So they're controlled via your phone, via Bluetooth to them. I've just been keeping them on this red. Also, I went ahead and turned on the turn signal so that you can see that the halo activates on the turn signal. So it has like a dim mode for the halo and a brighter mode. So it will activate the turn signal itself. Also, before we move away from the headlight, we got to acknowledge the bulb inside that is an sl1 bulb it's an led a really bright led from diodynamics so everything lighting wise on this truck you'll find is diodynamics so really cool this is probably one of my favorite things about the truck was the retrofitted headlights it turned out awesome moving down from there we have one of the newest additions to the truck and these are amber pods these are the pro pods from diodynamics as well diodynamics sells the kit to install them directly the oem replacements for this Toyota Tacoma and uh, so if you guys are interested in those you can get them as well they are incredibly bright and uh, I love them they're really great in the snow and in rainy conditions foggy conditions it helps see the road a million times easier so we got those pods in the fog light condition and then below that below the front of the truck we have the stealth light bar and that is a diode dynamic light bar as well it's wired to a switch that we'll see on the inside and uh, yeah we have that we also have the Raptor lights we already mentioned that and uh, that kind of wraps up the front of the truck so a lot of lighting mods that have been done on the front of the truck got the bright leds the retrofits the pods the light bar the front of this truck is bright moving down the side of the truck or before we get there we have to stop pause and back up because this truck is lifted i have a three inch lift kit here from rough country it's the n1 lift kit which you can see here on the front suspension this was a strut lift this was not a spacer lift in the front it's actually a lifted strut that we added to the oem spring i have a full video that goes through this whole entire lift kit showing you how to install it all that fun stuff this lift kit has been great for me in the back we do have 
have a spacer underneath the leaf spring and we have a new shock. It's one of the rough country shocks right there and right there you can see the block spacer in the leaf spring. I need to make another update video on the lift kit but uh, this lift kit has now been, well first off it was on my last truck and then I transferred it to the new truck. So this lift kit now has somewhere around 50 to 60,000 miles on it and it rides just like it did day one. Is it the greatest lift kit in the world? No. No, not by any means. This lift kit is not meant for anybody that is serious on off-roading. This lift kit is just a nice lift kit to get you up in the air. It rides good on the roads. It's just overall a nice lift kit for an everyday driver truck, which is what I use it for. I drive a lot of miles. I'm a DJ, I pull a trailer, so I drive a lot of miles. Every single day I drive literally over 100 miles, so. This thing gets a lot of miles on it really quick. And obviously in lifting the truck, I put some new rims, new tires on it. Right here we have the fuel coupler 18 inch rims in all black, so they're not the machine faced. I prefer just all black. And then the tire of choice that I put on the truck is the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax. These are a 275-65 R18. For anyone doing the math at home, that's a 32.1 inch tire, so it's not a true 33, but it definitely is a bigger tire than the stock tires that come on the truck. And talking about that tire of choice, the reason why I chose it, it looks aggressive. It's got a very notchy pattern to it. It's really good in the snow. It's really good in rainy conditions. And the thing that I love the most, because I said, I drive a lot it's quiet when you're driving on the highways and that it doesn't have a lot of drone to it it's a very quiet tire i honestly didn't notice the difference compared to my stock tires when i put these on the truck so uh if that speaks for how quiet these tires are but as we continue down the truck if you kind of notice the common theme here i got rid of all the chrome i hate chrome i did two videos on chrome delete on this channel right here is the turn signal this is the oem turn signal all i did was put blackout tint over top of it so you can still see the light inside when you need the turn signal activated but when the turn signal is not activated it's it's just nice and black, no chrome. Also, Plasti Dip, the Tacoma emblem right down here. So it is no longer chrome, it's nice and black as well. These are the Predator Steps. They came stock with my truck, but for some people it's an add-on. These are the Tacoma Predator Steps that come factory if you buy them. So yeah, factory Predator Steps. On the back here, I have the Gator Trifold tonneau cover. Uh, I like to keep a lot of stuff in the back of my truck when I'm going to events, and that stuff has to stay dry. So I chose the Gator Trifold, right there's the logo on it, Gator Trifold. Nothing but compliments, I love this thing. It's great, you just unclip these two little clips right here. It folds up nice and easy. Uh, it's great, I love this tonneau cover. Also while we're in the back here, we can see the bed lights. So I went ahead and put in bed lights. These are the stock or the OEM style ones for the 2016 to 2019 models. The 2020s have a new model, but I had these from my previous Tacoma, my 2018. Uh, there's a whole video on how I install these. The nice part about the 2020s is the wiring is actually right behind the tail light for these. So it made wiring these up really easy, really simple. And uh, yeah, now I have bed lights and they work. I like it. You can actually see what the hell's back here. While we're on the back of the truck, these right here are not the original OEM 2020 headlights on this, or tail lights on this truck. So these are Depot's Toyota Pro style lights. So these are not OEM lights, they're by Depot. I made a whole video on these. There's also links to them as well. Basically no chrome, blacked out, looks clean, love it. Also went ahead and added the inserts. So these are the actual beveled inserts that go into the Tacoma levers on the back. Nice black, looks great on the cement gray of the back of the truck, I like it a lot. As I come around the other side of the truck, the one thing I never mentioned was the rock lights. So I have rock lights underneath each of the rim wells. These are pretty massive. I mean, look at my hand here. This is a big rock light. Uh, they have six diodes inside of each. They're by Mike Tuning. Again, it's one of the most recent updates or the recent mods I did to the truck. There's two of them inside of each rim well or wheel well, and they're controlled with an app, obviously. So there you can see on the Mike Tuning app right here, this is for these rock lights. I can change the colors. I can do fades. I can do strobes. There's like a Christmas or just solid white, which is what I prefer. I'm not really too big on the flashy colors and all that, but Mike Tuning sent me these out and they look really cool in white. So now we've talked a lot about appearance stuff on the outside and lighting but we haven't talked about what I've done to the actual internals of the truck so let's go underneath the hood and the first thing you'll note is that the hood the hood is hydraulic so if you guys missed it I installed in hydraulic struts on either side and there are LED lights on the inside of the truck not that you'll ever need them because you're driving a Tacoma you're driving a Toyota and the odds of you needing to do anything in the engine bay are slim to none but I have lights on the inside of the truck on a switch which are really nice and convenient especially when you're filming videos to show off the inside of the truck and uh, just for reference that switch lies right here so that that's the switch for the lights there's the diodynamic box that controls the RGB boards down there and there's more wiring 
in there for all the other stuff that are on the front of the truck. Uh, one notable thing that I've done in terms of the engine though, I have added a cold air intake. So this right here is a K&N cold air intake. For anyone asking, this does not add horsepower. This does not really get you any better gas mileage. The one thing you do get is a lot more engine noise, which is what I love about it. So the engine is a lot more throaty. It's a lot more aggressive sounding. I like it a lot. And uh, one of the mods coming this year, I'm gonna be doing an exhaust, which is gonna help this whole system out a lot. So we got the engine noise and eventually we're gonna get to the exhaust noise so that it comes out the back as well. And that's what's underneath the hood. Now to the inside of the truck, there are some mods on the inside of the truck and uh, we'll go through them now. So first thing, as soon as we come into the truck, right here on the left, we have a variety of things that I've done to the dash here. So we have two switches down here. One is for those rock lights and I appropriately named zombie lights. So my rock lights are my zombie lights and my LED light bar is down here as well. It's enabled LED light bar. So I can turn the light bar on and off at will. I can turn my zombie lights on and off at will as well. Down below that we have the Takancha P3 trailer braking controller. So if you tow trailers like I do, this thing is great because it allows you to basically hook up your trailer and control the trailer braking. So by default on the TRDs, the TRD off-roads, this has the trailer package, which means the wiring for the trailers is at the back of the truck. But to be able to control the brakes, you need to buy a some sort of braking controller. So I chose the Takancha P3. It's a very popular braking controller. And this allows me to control the trailer that I'm braking. Um, awesome, I love it, use it all the time. Coming further into the truck, I have gone ahead and swapped out my bulbs. So these are no longer the factory halogen or I don't even know what they are, the old school bulbs. I've replaced them with LEDs. So the inside uh, lights inside the truck are nice, cool white LED. Now these are kind of just small mods, but this is the 2020. So we have Android Auto and we also have Apple CarPlay wired. So I have a nice little foam mount right here. This is like 10 bucks or something like that. It's a magnet swivel mount. There's a plate on the back of my phone. Nice and easy. Mounts it right up there. I love it. You can pivot it. Pretty dope. Obviously, I haven't mentioned it, but uh, this is the premium interior package. So it's got the JBL sound system. We have the sunroof up top. We have the leather seats. We have heated leather seats. We have the climate controls down here. So this is kind of the maxed out package minus the camera system. This is a 2020 and I do not have the 360 camera, which I'm going to be honest, I, I really don't need. Like, I don't need it at all. I could care less to have the 360 camera. I know how to back up. I know how to park. I don't really need it. So yeah, I don't have it. I have a backup camera. That's all I really Really need. So I have this tray right here, one for change, and it just makes this whole pocket a little bit more usable. So you have a nice tray here to access little things on top, and then you have the deeper storage for the rest of the things. So that right there kind of wraps up the interior. Now walking around the outside of the truck, uh, when I mentioned lighting, there, there's a couple more lights that I forgot to mention, and really it's just I replaced them with LEDs. So. I got backup lights here. These ones are actually LED now, so they're a lot brighter than the factory halogen ones. And my uh, license plate lights, I've also gone ahead and replaced those with LEDs as well. And that right there is uh, pretty much the whole walk around of my 2020 lifted modded TRD Coma off-road. And it is by far not done when it comes to the mods. I do want to do a lot more mods to it this year. One of the crazier things, one of the craziest things to mention though, all of this, has been done and this truck only has 25,000 miles on it. Actually, that might be a lot compared to some of you guys. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. I bought this truck in March. I'm filming this right now in January. So I've had it for roughly 10 months, kind of, almost 10 months, and it already has 25,000 miles on it, which is less than if we didn't have COVID. Because of COVID, I didn't have to drive as much because uh, I wasn't traveling as much as I normally do. In a normal year, I put somewhere around 40,000 miles on my vehicle. 25,000 miles, 10 months in, pretty crazy. What is even crazier though is that lift kit and those wheels and tires went on with only 116 miles I think on the truck. Uh, so literally I bought the truck in March, flapped the lift kit, the wheels, tires, and just started going to town with the truck. I love doing it. Um, for anyone asking, because it's a very common question, does that void your warranty? Absolutely. It's, it's just a known fact. I mean, unless you want to strip everything off and put it back to factory, but everyone knows warranties are stupid. Those whole entire limited powertrain warranties and that, that's completely bullshit. They don't matter. They won't actually, that, well, Toyota might stand behind it if a lot of trucks have a problem, but in reality, any of those dealer warranties that they sell you, 
Don't get them, they're a scam. They're completely not worth your money. Don't get those warranties that they offer. Anyways, I'm gonna link the playlist to all of the mods that have been done to this truck in the description down below as well as the first comment. And most of the stuff you see on the truck, other than maybe like the wheels and tires, are gonna be listed with Amazon links down below for the little stuff if you wanna go buy them yourself, the links to the Diodynamic stuff. So if you guys wanna go check out all that stuff, it's in the description down below. It's getting kinda cold out here, so if you would, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really do appreciate it a lot, especially all of you new subscribers out there. Uh, this channel has been amazing. I've enjoyed the growth since March. We've gained over 7,000 subscribers and we're just chugging along. I'm trying to get the 10,000 subscribers because your boy wants to buy. I can't say the name of the car, but it's a V8 and it's going to be manual and it's a sports car and it's American build. It's awesome. So if you could, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, share this video, share it with people. Everyone hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get the 10,000 subscribers. I want to spend some money and buy a car for the channel. But anyways, guys, also leave a comment down below. What mods do you want to see me do to the truck? What mods do you want to see? Also, what mods do you want to see me do to Christine's car? We're, don't work on her, we're working on her Hyundai Elantra. Uh, so if you want to see mods done to that, if you want to see mods done to Drake's truck, uh, this channel's open. I'm having fun with it. I'm completely reinvesting everything I make on this channel into new mods for the truck and new content for you guys do you have any questions what videos do you want to see let me know I literally if you guys have watched the channel I take viewer suggestions so someone said put Raptor lights on the truck I put Raptor lights on the truck I should have done some more research and bought better ones but there's that anyways guys it's cold out here you guys are awesome I love every single one of you guys thank you so much for the support on this channel like always guys taco Rick out peace I'll see you in the next one peace out